Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another Alliance War video. And this one is a really great match. So we have four Loki facing off against DSBG. Uh, a lot of really good players over there. And uh, it's always fun when we match an alliance like this. It's, it's very fun. And I, we, I knew this one was going to be a close one. And sure is. So getting started here, we're running Valkyrie. Now, I've really, really been enjoying using Valkyrie. I, it feels just very safe with her for the most part on like most fights. Here it's really cool. You guys are going to see Mole Man. You know, Mole Man, when you hit the block, you know, he goes unstoppable. Normally, that's a really big problem. And here with uh, with, with with the global, it makes sense because every time he hits my block, he gets the flourish. And he, here, I'm just trying to bait, bro. Struggling to bait the special. There we go. So I'm just trying to get to 11 hits. There we go. Now, you see, I have a pierce. Now, I can hit his block. You see, he goes unstoppable, but it doesn't matter. Because Valkyrie is undisputably the best unstoppable counter in all of MCOC. And that is such, such a good ability. Um, I, I love her. I, I really do. Like, honestly, I, like, I, I could see her being a first rank five. I, I feel like I still have to go Nick Fury because I just, I love Nick Fury so much. But I don't know, man. Valkyrie's pretty sweet and she does have the prestige too. She She's pretty nice. So we go ahead, drop this Mole Man in like about a minute. Pretty clean fight. Um, but then we move on and we have a Scorpion. So at first, I was a little nervous about this fight because I don't like fighting Scorpion. You know, his evade is just unpredictable. But then I went ahead and read Scorpion's abilities because I was wondering if he can evade through the block. Because if not, when I see that Scorpion sense active, that's going to be what I'm, I mainly do is just hit into his block. So that uh, I can still build power, still do damage, but he cannot evade. And so, yeah, I looked in his abilities and Scorpion cannot evade blocked hits. Which is exactly what I was hoping to read. Uh, same with Spider Gwen. A lot of a lot of evade characters that can't evade as to the block, which is just makes it fighting them so much easier. So so much easier. So here I'm just trying to get in uh, some combos while I can before the Scorpion Sense becomes active. Now here I see it's active. Okay, time to just back off. No thank you. Time to chill. So we're only going to do blocked hits now, so that he just cannot evade. So this is going to get us past 20. Get our second Pierce. Then I'm going to go ahead drop the special two. Uh, it's going to apply the Fury, and we're hitting fairly hard. We don't have our third pierce, so we're not doing the, the instant bleeds quite yet, but there we go. Now we do. So you see each hit does like about 19,000 damage, um, or the lights are doing 13, and I think the mediums are doing like 19, and it's block. Uh, or no, they're all just doing, yeah, no, the medium did a little bit more. Uh, I'm not, sure, not exactly sure how that number scales, but uh, I think it's... Something about her her dragon fang blade, I think, doing instant bleeds. I don't know, but it's it's nice. It's a little bit of extra damage against non-bleed immunes. And he goes down without too much of an issue. So I was really happy that fight went so well. But then we fight Jessica. Now, Jessica, I would be frightened to face her with, with anyone other than Valkyrie. But with Valkyrie, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. So uh, we do have the annoying strike counter fury node here. But I do have that uh, power start one. So that's going to get us halfway to our special two. And then we're just going to do a few combos to get there. But I'm not really... Also, I'm not too concerned about the nodes at the same time. Because worst case scenario, you know, uh, she gets a ton of furies. Well, if I'm playing properly, the amount of furies she has shouldn't matter. Because I shouldn't be getting touched by her, even like in the block. You know, once I'm, I'm fully doing that play style. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too worried. Just baiting the special ones. They do create a lot of distance, which is kind of annoying. So you see there, I went for the intercept just to try to try to close the gap because I don't want to get cornered. Here she is kind of cornering me, but here we're able to luckily break out, toss off the special. And so she did build up some furies. She's at four furies again, which I said is kind of annoying, but it, like I said, it shouldn't matter too much. As long as you know we don't get hit now, she's being fairly cooperative, backing off, giving us ample opportunities to hit into her block, which is really great. And now that we have the three pierce, again, we're doing that instant bleed damage as well. So that is uh, really helping. Looks like we're doing 1329 on most of our hits. And she's going down very fast now. The pierce damage is really adding up. She's already at 20%. Just like one more blocked combo into a special one will probably probably do the trick here. Let's see if I go for special one. Yeah. That's lights out for Jessica. That was rank four Jessica. Unduped. She gone. With Valkyrie, I'm very, very comfortable fighting Jessica. With anyone else, I'm good. <laughs> no, no thank you. No, 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 no thank you. 
So here now we move on. We got Minash. We have his Penny Parker. Minash, really good guy, fellow YouTuber. And so this this fight's funny. You're, you're gonna see. I I think I I play this fight absolutely horrible, like just terrible. I make mistakes. I don't do what I'm supposed to. But you'll see, it doesn't really affect the outcome of the fight. No matter how bad I play. This, this matchup is just like guaranteed. With a rank five gallon here, it's it's all but guaranteed. I think I get hit by a special two here, uh, right here. Yeah, and you see, it does like nothing. It tickled me, <laughs> it just tickled. Uh, right here, she evades my, my heavy attack as well. Kind of annoying. Uh, there we go, she auto blocks that heavy, prevents me from entering the harvest. There we go, finally get into the harvest. She's getting rooted. This fight's not going well. She, she has another special two, but uh, I'm just gonna hit her block through a special one and end it. So, like, I I messed up, you know, got hit by a special two, and we got out of there with like 90% health still. That's just like the most automatic matchup you can pretty much ask for. You could, anyone could do that fight, you know? So there's no skill involved at all there. That was just Gallon being gallon and then here we move to nick fury this this fight I actually really did like there is some skill involved in this one but this guy actually i think he had suicides yeah so he's got the bleed and the poison but that didn't really matter that's not gonna uh, change the play style that i have here so i actually i really like fighting nick fury because i can really utilize gallon to kind of his fullest extent of his of his rotation um because you know with gallon what i like to do is special two uh and then but by that point Typically, most things died to the special two, you know, built up with a built up harvest. So here you're gonna see, boom, after the harvest, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, just give him a little bit more power. I want him to be at a special two, and then go ahead, drop this. There we go. So that kills the first life, which is fantastic. And now, you know, normally the fights would be over, but at this point, you see, I have 10 of those physical resistance and 16 of those energy resistance buffs. So that's just really gonna help me convert to a big harvest really quickly. So here I just want to let him hit my block one time, intercept him, do a combo, and a special one. You see we have 380 of our harvest, and that's enough, about 87,000 damage. <clears throat> so, you know, building up the, the, the energy and physical resist, special two, kill first life, then re-enter harvest, utilize those buffs to increase our harvest, and then boom, that's Nick Fury lights out with the second life. So, just very, very simple <clears throat> and easy rotation to fight uh, Nick Fury with, uh, with Gallon, which I really like there. So... Now we go ahead and move on to section two and here we have sloped armor and uh, static defense so uh we are immune to shock here so if you know worst case scenario silver surfer gets some armors which the way he would get armors is either through when the armor is passive if he uses a heavy or a special to prevent that i just went ahead and baiting it bait out the heavy right away so that he utilizes his cosmic charges and he gets the the power gain instead of uh instead of an armor, which is great. And plus Scorpion is also a tactic uh, attacker here with the subdue. So we're applying um, the neutralize and on our special attacks, we'll also be applying the fate seal, taking away all of his buffs. Um, so I'm really not worried. And you know, worst thing that can really happen is if he gets armor, we're just gonna glance, which is just annoying. You know, it's not gonna be doing any actual damage to us. So I'm gonna go ahead for the special two here. See that fate seal gets applied. He's just wiped of all buffs. Then just bait the special two, get our distance. There we go. This fight is going fantastic. We did die a couple wars ago with Scorpion. Um, so I am trying to, to redeem that. Uh, we died to, we're gonna be fighting the same node that I that I died to two wars ago. We died to a Chavez there though, and this war we have a Mangog there. So a little bit different, but still the same uh, concept using Scorpion there trying to, you know, get the taunt up and then block the unblockable. But before we get to that final fight here, we just have one more fight. This is a infamous Iron Man. And uh, th this fight was funny because I, I tweeted, I think a clip of, of this fight, if you guys follow me on Twitter, because Cam, I was taking the same exact fight as me with Galen fighting Iron Doom here, same war in a different battle group. And uh, he just would not throw the special. The, the Iron Doom would just not throw the special. So, <laughs> I showed him a really easy way to bait out the special, which uh, you guys will see. I, I bait out his special too, and uh, it's it's a very very easy way to, way to bait specials. It's like almost guaranteed that if you have the correct AI, you see that 
You see that? I, I, all, all I did there was I threw my, my, my heavy attack about a quarter of a second too slow. And he just instantly punished me with his special. Really easy way to bait out a special. The, the only bad thing is, uh, yeah, I lost three quarters of my health. Really, really, really fun. Really, really fun, man. That pissed me off so much when that happened. I was just like, are you kidding me? Thank God I survived, though, and uh, this harvest is enough to kill him. But, oh my God, bro. It's just like, as as small of an amount, that's how slow I was activating that heavy. And he just fully punished me with that special. Like, God damn. But it's all right, because we survived. And that was my last fight with Galen, so... Like, I don't have to heal him. So, technically, it really doesn't matter. It's just... It just gave me a bit of a scare. But that's why we boost. That is why we boost big. And so, here now, just double-checking how it's recording. And gonna go ahead and fight this Mangog. So, this is where we died last time. And, yeah, I got, I got parried last time. Trying to punish a special after I blocked it. So... Hopefully that doesn't happen again here today, but basically we just want to make sure that this man Gog is taunted if he's going to be throwing a special two. Uh, and I don't have uh, an invulnerability boost here, so I'm not going to be pushing him special threes. So just going to, yeah, well, if we bait the special ones, that's fine too. But going to go ahead and get off the special one in a sec here to get that taunt applied. There we go. And now... Uh, bait the special two. It's a blockable, but you see we block it no problem. All good. And you see I don't try to punish it. I just intercept him after. That's what I should have been doing to Chavez. That's that's the safest way to punish if if you know the timing is to just intercept after an opponent special attack, especially an opponent that really creates a big gap after that special. It's 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 the best best play style for it. But yeah, just keep spamming these special ones. Honestly, man. I think the special one with Scorpion, I think I was definitely underrating it because it applies so many of the sting debuffs. It's actually very, very worth. Plus the taunt, like, normally I'm just greedy and I go for the special two to get to see the big red numbers, you know, and to get the petrify applied so you can try to siphon off some healing. But uh, that special one is very powerful. Very, very powerful. Right there, again, you see I was a little slow on that. I, I don't know what it was about this war, but this day I was just like, just a, a, the smallest bit slow on my heavy punishes. And uh, yeah, I felt like they were running six out of five limber, but I guess I was just slow and got punished a few times, but uh, we're still alive. Uh, and then here, I don't know, I, I thought I parried. I If I died to that, I would have been very sad because I that felt like a good parry to me. I don't know, but we, we we get through that fight alive. Again, a little closer than it needed to be, but again, that's the final fight for the war with Scorpion, so, you know, it's all good. Didn't need to heal him, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's this war against DSVG. So at that point, right after I finished that final fight, I took the screen. I looked at the score. It was tied. 5-5. Five to five, which is a very, very close war, but we did have quite a few fights ahead of them. So I, I thought we were going to win, but unfortunately we did not. We we finished with eight deaths and they finished with seven and we had them beat in time. So if we just died one less, we would have beaten them with the tiebreaker. Very, very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, what are you going to do? Very, very close. And ex these are my favorite kind of wars, the ones that are super close. So massive GG's to DSVG. Always an honor to play you guys. And yeah, that is going to do it for this war video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I don't even know... This is for five, five or six, I think, of season 40. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if so. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Peace.